YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Leron, female rapidly. I'm back with another video. Please come in and thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time that I go live or I do an upload. Shout out to all of my new subscribers, my returning subscribers as well. So I just wanted to come tonight and recap like this Wendy, where's Wendy Williams part two. So it was a two hour special. I did make some notes, Um, you know, as I was watching, I did jot down some notes, but I was like editing the video at the same time. So I'm just going to go through my notes like um, I did, you know, part two. Wendy wants to be back on TV. We know that's the main um, objective for her. And I feel like this. Let me just say this because I know I wrote this in my notes. I feel like Wendy wanting to be back on TV. She, unfortunately, she's going through, you know, this medical health ailment you know whatever that she's going through right her diagnosis she's going through that but you have to realize who she is and i felt like it was really hmm insensitive for like every time she was saying she wanted to be back on tv everybody kept throwing her health in her face it's like treat her like a human being damn at least if she says she want to go back on tv just say okay wendy yeah i want that for you too it was like they was not trying to be supportive at all it's like i understand real talk but it's like let her have let her have some sort of glory something you know what i'm saying so alex uh wendy's niece she pops back up again and you could tell that she was giving fever crazy to um sean and sean um i get feelings that sean is genuine but then i get kind of like oppy feelings oppy uh vibes from her too because sean she was saying that she's wendy williams publicist and then she was saying that oh i've been basically acting like a manager so it's like you want that nigga will going too just like when wendy was kicking that too and i noticed that wendy she had this energy with will that she didn't really trust him like that like she would never open up truth like maybe not for the camera but she wouldn't never open up and just show her in her most like that so um, Wendy was whispering on camera when her niece Alex came to see her. She was like, I'm moving in three weeks. And I understand why she was whispering because it was being, you know, recorded anyway. So she was like, she's moving out of the apartment in three weeks or whatever. And I, I still feel like yesterday when I said Wendy be putting on for these cameras too. When these cameras come on, it's act up time. I don't care what nobody say. Wendy know how to act for these cameras. So I jotted down Wendy's niece Alex is basically feeling like Sean is up to something with Wendy. Sean does seem to be an enabler to Wendy. Yes, she does. Um, she seems like to be an enabler to Wendy based on yesterday showing. She seemed to do any and everything, and it's probably at a it's probably at a price. Meaning like what whatever Wendy is paying Sean. I'm not slow. I know exactly what's going on here. I'm driving this road eyes open. Sean, I think that she tried to treat she tries to treat Wendy like a like you know number one a human being. And then number two, Wendy is an adult. Like she's going to ask for what she wants. Now, if the doctors, if, if the medical advisory is saying that Wendy should not be drinking with her situation, her diagnoses, then that's different. But you can't control a person like and I don't even think I don't even know if a guardian can do that fully. You know, what is the guardian really like protecting when it comes to Wendy? So, yeah, I jotted down that, you know, Alex wasn't fin feeling Sean. And I said, Sean, when she came and told her that, like, she didn't really know her like that. Sean backed that Honda Civic out so quick. She got right up out of there because she ain't really she ain't feel comfortable sitting on the couch talking to her. So Alex spoke to Sean and, yeah, she bounced. Wendy told Alex to relax. Like, you know, she felt like she knew what was going on. But I will tell you this. People going through dementia just from my own personal experience of, like, being around and, like, knowing. It's like they think that they know they have like the better judgment for themselves and they really really don't and it's really unfortunate like to be honest with you but wendy told her to relax and then um after you know that whole questioning about sean and wendy uh situation her living situation wendy said she was done for the day like she was done like you know i think that wendy's family tries to come down um on her concern but i think it pushes her away just a little bit because i feel like she knows that you have to realize a person going through this they know that things are changing with them you don't think they know they know they know um will call wendy and she flew um let's see I said Alex seemed genuinely concerned about Wendy and her surroundings, like the way that she was living. She was like, oh, Wendy, you deserve better X, Y, Z, you know, whatever. Right. So Will called Wendy. Um, she flew to L.A. Uh, she told Will that she was going to beat her for three weeks. And um, it was a part of me. I didn't like how Will was talking to Wendy. It seemed real. Um, you know, I was watching I was watching a YouTube channel earlier and the girl was saying that Will has Kevin Hunter energy. Kevin. Um, 
Kevin Hunter energy. Yeah, I think that that's, yeah, I think, yeah, I can definitely see where she's, where she got that from because will seem really forceful it's like if you're a manager you're not her guardian the way that i just didn't like a lot of the ways that he was talking to wendy he called her he called her um selfish and something on the camera it's like you gotta know the medium this is going out to everybody why are you talking about this woman like that my bad y'all somebody was walking through and i was just like i'm trying to figure out what's going on so anyway let's move on so wendy visited the hollywood walk of fame when she was out there is it the walk of fame i believe that it's called so she visited the walk of fame and you know i could tell that wendy loves being famous she loves the attention she loves the love from the fans as she should she built herself up it's so crazy it's like you know she started talking about the celebrities and she ended up turning into a celebrity herself she loves being famous um she was really excited about the, you know, the, the, the Hollywood Walk of Fame and being associated uh, and close to the fans. So moving on, I said, Will asked her uh, what she was having for lunch. And Wendy said everything like I ain't like Will energy, like especially when he was on the plane. And I think that they told her like when she was on the plane that she asked for a drink and then he said, give her apple juice and maybe she'll think it's, a, it's, it's whiskey, apple whiskey or something. I can't remember the liquor that he said, but. Like, just because you're going through dementia doesn't mean you're stupid. Like, yo, I know that there's people watching this video that you've dealt with people who go through dementia and they actually think that you're insulting their intelligence. Like, just because she's going through dementia doesn't mean that she's, like, out of mind, like, fully 100%. You don't think that she knows what liquor is, especially if she know what Grey Goose and whatever that, that Wendy likes to drink on? So, Wendy said everything. It's her business. And I said, it's her business, in my opinion. I know y'all may think that this is bad based off of what she's going through. However, did her physician advise that she could never drink again? Um, she shouldn't be ODing on drinking, um, but she shouldn't be babysat either. Like, you know, when she was in her apartment and just drinking bottles and bottles, I don't think that should happen. But if she want to have a drink, she's a grown woman. He just want her in his possession on some Rihanna and Future-ish. I just want you in my possession. Don't quit. Don't quit. Like, listen, this is the vibe that I get. And I know that y'all might think that this is wrong, but I feel like Will and Sean, shit, even the son, little Kevin Hunter. And Lord, please don't. Father, forgive me for. No, I know what I'm saying, so I ain't going to sing that. But. I feel like they all use a Nikki. I mean, not Nikki. You know, I do the commentary. I think they all use a Wendy. Right? They're using her. <sighs> It's the energy that I'm getting from little Kevin Hunter. You spent $100,000 on a birthday party. You spent $80,000 on Uber Eats. Why don't you know how to cook? That's a lot of money. Can I tell you something? I understand the lifestyle. I understand what he's used to having, right? But your mother is not on TV anymore. So that means that who knows where the money is coming from. And guess what? Ooh, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself in the notes. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um... Yeah. So Sean stated that she never um, that she never spoke to her medical team, because right after I wrote that note down, someone did an interview with Sean and she said she never spoke to the medical team. Um, she said, I said, then what? I think it's important to see if she can or cannot consume alcohol. I think that that's very important because somebody mentioned in the show that she had um, alcohol induced dementia. All right. So then I wrote down Wendy was random crying after she asked uh, after she asked what time it was um, stated that she she couldn't she couldn't wait to meet with Universal and be able to dress the way that she wanted to for the Wendy show. Um, yeah, she was really excited about getting back on TV. Could you blame her? Could you blame her? This is literally her life. I don't understand why the, why the family and like people was like, you're not well. You And she was like, that's why she said to her niece, you said that already. She was like, I'm about to turn the, I'm about to turn the TV up on you. Yo, I was feeling that too. Come on. Like, why y'all trying to treat her like... And I feel like she she has a feeling like they treating her like an object. Like, stop this shit. Um... Alex is mad about Nick, uh, mad about Wendy going to a major network for a deal in her condition with her health condition. You have to realize that Wendy is it still has wants within her life. Just because she has a diagnosis, she will continue to attempt to do everything she has as she races against the clock. You don't feel like she feels as though that she's deteriorating? Come on, stop it. 
Yeah, and I wrote down about that um, apple flavored uh, whiskey or something that Will or whoever that guy was that said that. Like she's just, just because she's going through what she's going through doesn't mean that she's she's an idiot. Uh, so let's see. So Will is so dead set on connecting Wendy with her son. I get bad vibes from her son. I hate to say that. Listen, I don't know her son. I don't know him. But when they asked him about sp why he spent the money that he spent, he said something about he got approval from his mother. Let me tell you something right now that I don't know. And this is why the guardianship happened. Let me tell you something. I'm telling you, I only can give you but so much information, but I'm telling you that I've, I'm, I've been around and I know people who've taken advantage of a person who's going through dementia. They ask them questions. They get the yeses out of them, you know. And Kevin, you, you should know better than that. You should know. But you know what? Kevin is still young, too. He probably used to a certain type of lifestyle, but your mother ain't even got checks coming in like that. You draining a hundred. Talking about you spent a hundred thousand dollars. He's like, everything I got was through my mom. Well, your mom's not in the right headspace. How you spend a hundred thousand dollars, my nigga? That's why they did that. That's why they did that. Yeah. Um. Will seems to want Wendy to open up, but she's very guarded with him. I think I said that already. They made sure the business was back on. Listen, and then why everybody's saying that? Oh, Wendy don't need to go back and do business, and she don't need to do this or whatever, right? They made sure business was on the back burner. This is this is coming directly from her son. They made sure business was on the back burner, but spending eighty k on Uber Eats and a hundred k in a birthday party. Wendy Williams' son used to have a certain. He's used to having a certain access, but he's using his fucking mother too, and is give and giving fun to his dad and I think it was reported that he was giving funds to his dad too and Wendy even mentioned in here Kevin Hunter oh he's broke <laughs> she said he's broke Alex was back and what bothers me is people being upset about her wanting to be back on TV like Alex just looked upset shit be happy for her instead of trying to talk uh, her health and make a drama out of everything Wendy told Alex she was saying the same thing over and over about her health Alex leave Wendy the hell alone leave her alone Alex was talking Alex was uh, talking that shit Wendy said Can I turn the TV up please Like leave her the fuck alone She told She told her to move So she can watch TV You know the diagnosis Alex Even um, though She may never go back on TV At least be happy for her In the moment Without bringing up her health Every damn chance that you get The fuck That's the note that I wrote Explicitly The fuck I said it was great to see Wendy with her dad and her brother. Her dad had a very gentle spirit. Kind of reminds me of my grandfather too. Good to see Wendy with her brother. There's um brother there too. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. Uh, then Wendy's son and nephew joined. This is when they was at dinner. Her brother told her not to have a drink. Watch this. This is how I feel. I dealt with this with a family member. You tell them not to have a drink. Wendy said that she was going to have one drink. Her brother did his best, um, but... Also knowing that Wendy is an adult and she has full range. You can't control people. Unfortunately, let me tell you something. I'm speaking from my heart. When these people go through these ailments, on the other side of that, unfortunately, it is death. It is. As long as sometimes they have to say so and they can say yes and no. And they can, you know, if there is no like proxy over them. Or guardian, well, in her case, she has a guardian, but I thought that was more financial guardian. You can't control them. You can. You can. You can. So I felt her brother energy like he tried. You seen him trying to put up the good fight saying like, no, no, you can't. I don't. He, you know, he was trying to like stop her from drinking. And she said, I'm having a drink. Wendy crying over missing her family was so sad. I could tell that, that Wendy really loves her family close knit. And, you know, she likes to do nice things with them. Will is Will is her manager but acts like her husband. I don't know what part I wrote that down in. Suggesting that she has someone there with her 24 hours. So Will wanted Wendy to be um to have someone in her company 24 hours, which what? Which what? Runs up another bill. These people just be doing shit, just running up the tab, which means more money. That shit is a trap. I feel so bad for Wendy Williams. Yep. Because everybody is, all of these things cost money. Insurance, I don't think insurance is going to cost it on a level of support that, you know, that she needs. They're not going to cover that. Wendy's um, sister Wanda spoke. I know from Wendy's commentary that she is very fond of Wanda. You can tell Wendy loves her family. and um, I think I said that already to tighten it. Kevin is not right talking about his mother approved of him spending money while his mother is sick. His wordplay is very telling. I don't, I don't care um, that nephew looks sneaky too. 
nephew look sneaky too so i know I, it was probably um little things that i did miss within the commentary but i felt like i jotted down because like i said i was editing a video at the time but i felt like i really much touched on everything you know wendy's brother was there wanda was there i know that she's fond of both of them she often spoke of her siblings um i'm sorry y'all i know that you might think that this is wrong but i don't trust i don't i don't trust kevin little kevin either i just don't and then he bringing around like he, he bringing around the little nephew like is i don't even think that's the brother's son i don't think that's that's correct me in the comments if i'm wrong i don't think that that's her brother's son he coming around like a little dozier doing these little off-camera interviews and you know wendy probably approved uh, lifetime to speak to him i don't know but i don't trust that son at all come on listen let me tell you something kevin is younger than me i know that but you have to know that your mother is going through something for you to ask her for something and listen she just got diagnosed or whatever so imagine how long she been going through that i'm telling you i know i have somebody close to me who's going through that and i know for a fact that people took advantage of this person i know that they did they will drain all of the money out of their bank account to where it's just it's fucked up and it's like damn you ain't never been like this before it's crazy right they had to get that protection around Wendy because she had an astronomically more amount of money. You know, I can imagine that she had she had different access and more money. So they had to protect. They had to protect her taking one hundred thousand dollars out. Little Kev. Listen, I ain't, I'm going to give him a little grace, a little credence because he is younger. But you had to be stopped. And I'm happy that he's not her guardian no more because that bank account would have been drained out. You asking a sickly person for have you asking a person who's going through cognitive decline for all of this money of course she's not going to tell you no and i believe truly wendy wasn't saying it online she cried and stuff but i think this is my opinion i think wendy had to get away from her son because he was draining her finances he was draining the finances out y'all so listen this is your boy laron female rapidly please get in the comments let me know what you thought about um where is Wendy Williams a part two? I'm probably going to go upstairs and watch it again. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you felt about it and all of that. Um, let me know what your opinion was on Sean. What did you think about Alex? What did you think about them trying to like, every time Wendy says she wanted to be back on TV or something, you got to realize this is her life. She's been doing this for like two, three decades three decades you understand what i'm saying of course this is where she want to be at if wendy was in front of me and she said she wanted to get back on tv i said i understand like i would be like i understand you know i would not bring her health up each and every time it's like that that's painful that's hurtful it's like why does she want to relive that over and over it's like when you're going through dementia you're losing like you're just losing just a little bit more every single day like you know what i'm saying you're losing and it's like let her hold on to what she wants let them let the people up at universal tell her that she can't get the show let them tell her that you know what I'm saying? And you deal with it on the back end, but you should be trying to push her. Like, I understand the health ailments. I understand and I get it and that she should be resting. But you know what she wants. So, come on. And I think a little bit of me feels, though, that Sean wants that for Wendy and that she just tries to, like, provide some, some, some sort of normalcy or whatever. But, yeah, man. Let me get up out of here. This is your boy, LeRon, female rap elite. Leave your comments below in regards to the Where's Wendy Williams. And, yeah, I'm up out of here. Peace.